Good morning guys, happy Monday. I'm here at school, clearly, and I'm just getting things prepped and ready for the day. So I just ran up to the office and made copies for reading and math intervention for my aide and myself. So let me show you what we're working on this week. This week, my aide is going to be working on multiplication visuals with my kiddos. On one side, they are going to circle and make equal groups. And then on the other side, they are going to do array representation. So they'll have to look at the array and then write the multiplication question there. Then they're going to be doing a read naturally passage where they make a prediction, review keywords, read the story, and then they do a retell in the answer questions. So this is what they're going to be working on with my instructional aid. Then with me, we're gonna be doing word problems with multiplication, working on strategies for solving word problems. And then together, we are going to be doing a passage this is going to be talking about main idea and supporting details. For breakfast this morning, I just have a Faye strawberry yogurt and I already drank a chocolate organ chocolate protein shake. So let's see what else we have going on today. We're going to be working on the same skill this week that we were working with last week for reading. So that is comparing and contrasting two different texts on a similar topic. So I pulled these assignments from Common Core Kingdom and I have about three of them. So I think today we're going to do the what to pack for a camping trip passage and then tomorrow we will do the Walt Disney passage which I'm really excited and I think the kids will really enjoy that. So we'll do that tomorrow. Wednesday we'll do the Abraham Lincoln presidential one. On Wednesday, we have a district uh, writing assessment, so I don't want to plan too, too much for that, um, just in case we run over, because it does, end up, it does take my kiddos some time to complete those, so I just don't want to over plan. Their Friday assessment will be on the computer, and they'll be using the STARS di district assessment for that. So, I will be referencing those types of questions all week long, and... Yeah. This week in math, we're working on measurement to the nearest inch, half inch, and quarter inch. So we'll be working on that in math. Oh, my coffee's done. I was very confused as to what that sound was. I'm also going to show you guys and walk you through our math review that we're going to start doing every morning and just walk you through the procedure for that. Okay, so the system is called Daily Math Review. Basically, when the kids come in every day, they take out their math review notebooks and they're going to set up their paper like this. Math review at the top and the date. Then they section their paper off into four pieces, one, two, three, and then a mental math question. Then every day, they will be giving, they will be given three different questions on skills that have already been taught and covered. So I'm starting my kids off with a multi-digit addition, uh, placing a fraction on a number line, and then multiplying with different strategies. So I pose the question, and then they have 10 minutes. Well, it depends on how quickly your kids move. You can give them between 8 to 10 minutes to solve all three problems. Then once they're done solving, for the first week and a half, maybe even two weeks, you will model correcting and reflecting for them. So basically what I do is I go step by step on how to solve the problem and every step of the way, they get a star if they do it correctly. If they do it incorrectly, they are supposed to circle it and then correct it. Each student has a red pencil so that they can make their corrections with red and be able to see where exactly they're making their mistakes. So these are just models of me correcting anything that they've done wrong. So same thing here, each step of the way, everything that they do that they've done right, they give themselves a star. Same thing down here, if they didn't do, if they didn't draw an array but they multiplied, then they need to circle and draw the array. So they have to correct and put exactly what I have on my paper.
Then after each skill, after each question, they reflect on why or why they were not successful and they give an example of maybe a mistake that they made. So if they're a person that forgets to carry, maybe their reflection says, I was not successful because I forgot to carry the one. This way, every time they get a question that is similar because they're gonna have the same types of questions for about a week, maybe even two weeks, they can flip back in their notebook to see, oh, every time I have a multi or a, an addition problem, I forget to carry the one and that's why I'm not successful. So, so it reminds them to remember to carry the one each time that they do it. So after a while, when the kids get used to this system, I will be walking around and choosing three students who have solved the questions correctly then they will come up to the board and they will correct and model for their classmates how they solve the problem. They will be doing all the starring, they'll be doing all the circling, and it's just a really great way for peers to be talking with other peers about what they're doing to be successful in math. So every day they come in, they set up their page, and then they're posed with three questions. So this takes about 15, it should take about 15 to 20 minutes start to finish, but right now we're just starting it, so it's taking about 30, just so that we can practice the procedures. She's probably not gonna be inside any of the cupboards. Is she in a desk? I don't think she'd be in a desk, because then people might touch her, right? Maybe she's just hiding somewhere really good. Nowhere? You looked everywhere? Anywhere that's visible. I found her, but I'm not telling you where I found her. <laughs> you guys will have to find her. <laughs> just tell us. Nope, you have to find her. I guess if we can't find her this morning, you'll just have to keep your eyes peeled for the rest of the day. Do you know where she is? I do know where she is. I found her. Hey guys, so it is specials time and I just wanted to come on here and just shed some thought on something that's occurring right now in the real world. Um, a high school in a neighboring school district is on lockdown for a bomb threat. And as a teacher actually working on the same day, it's terrifying being in the same area as something so serious that's going on. So I just want to send some prayers and some thoughts to those students and teachers who are on lockdown, terrified I'm sure right now, and just even though this video is going to go up way after this is happening, I just pray that this kind of crap just stops. Um, they have a bomb threat and so they're all in lockdown right now. Um, anyway, so I'm just reviewing the math assignment the math lesson for today, making sure that my students will be capable of doing it, making sure that I teach it well. And um, yeah, math review went really well today. My students have been super on task, super respectful, very just with it this morning, and it's just a breath of fresh air. Alexa, pause. Are you getting into my bag? Hey. <sighs> Hey guys, so it is Monday evening, 5 p.m. We just ate a snack, and we are gonna go to the gym, all three of us, all together, as a family. Ready to go? <laughs> We've been dancing and jamming out to Christmas music, and Cash just ate like a whole crap ton of chicken nuggets and ground beef or ground turkey, ground turkey. So we're gonna keep jamming out to Christmas music and then go to the gym.
Good morning guys, happy Tuesday. Today is Tuesday, December 4th, and I just walked in to see another encounter between the elf and Darth Vader. Clearly she needs to stay away from his area because they seem to not get along very well. So it looks like the two of them are having an epic battle today. They could be playing around, I don't know. Clearly I can't talk to them, so. Um, but it looks like she's using the tree as a hideout. Who knows? Ginger. She's like provoking him. At least they have a guardian, you know. One of my students actually brought this angel in. It's so cute. Um, but yeah, there she is. So this morning I am making some hot, delicious oatmeal for breakfast. I have to come in Kayla's room because the microwave's in here. So for a Christmas, oh, on my Christmas wish list, I asked for a little teeny tiny mini fridge because I want to keep my coffee creamer and I'm thinking like, like a six can fridge, you know, the like super teeny tiny kind that like you can keep just a couple of soda cans in. So I asked for one of those just to kind of keep in my room to keep my coffee creamer and stuff in because um, my coffee pot's over there and it's just like so inconvenient for me to walk over there and get my coffee creamer out of that fridge. You know, whatever. So I thought I would ask Santa for one, you know, in the event that he decides I deserve one. So anyway, I made some oatmeal. I just get these Better Oats organic packaged oatmeal and they're pretty good. Um, they're quick, easy, and yeah. Uh, it's 51 degrees outside, which is really not that cold, but for Phoenician, it's cold. So, uh, I have duty in about 35 minutes, but until then, I'm gonna go and run and get some copies made that I need. I'm making some chapter test retake, because I have, like, five different forms and then I'm making some take home practice sheets for some students to take home with them who are struggling, still struggling with fraction skills. So I'm gonna do that and then I will hit the, uh, hit the corner where my duty's at. Hey guys, so the second day of math review, well technically it's the third day. The third day of math review is going really, really well. Students are already stopping making those mistakes that they always make, and I'm able to transition the work, the questions, into a more complex model. So yesterday, so the last two days, my students were adding three digit numbers. Today I added another digit, so they're still using the same skill, they're still using the same strategy, but they're adding another digit. So it makes it more complex. So the kids are at PE right now and I just ran off a couple of things. So when we come back from Christmas break, we're gonna be doing a two week unit on the Arctic region and the Antarctic region. So I found this really cute resource from All Students Can Shine and it's all about animals in the Arctic. So we're gonna do a giant informational text unit. We're gonna use this to learn about some Arctic animals and then I'm gonna have my students write an informational text or essay about one of the animals that they have chosen. This is gonna be a great introduction because in February, March, they're going to write another animal report, except for this one will be um, on an animal at our zoo because we're gonna go to the Phoenix Zoo for a field trip. So I thought that this would be a great way to teach them how to write an informational essay about an animal and then when they begin their animal reports for the zoo, 
they can just do it on their own. So this will be my teaching moment and then the other one will be on their own. So it'll be like more of an assessment. So, and then I also printed this cursive handwriting resource. It's from Pocketful of Primary. And I wanna start doing cursive every day and start just introducing those. And um, I'll probably do those like during, um, once we get back from Christmas break. So I just printed these now so that I have them. And um, I had to go up to the office to actually print them because I don't like using our classroom printer for like big files because we have to buy the ink out of our, we get like a $200 supply um, budget per teacher. And so we use that, we save it for our printer ink. And um, I didn't want to use all that ink. So I'm going to spend the rest of my prep time um, starting to type plans for next week. So next week I'm teaching reading standard RI6, which is comparing the author's point of view on a topic with their own and distinguishing the difference between the author's point of view and their own. So I found some stuff from Common Core Kingdom as always. I really like their things. And I'm also going to pull some stuff from our District Stars Assessment Item Bank to make sure that I incorporate whatever is expected of them in that platform and then whatever is expected of them for my own platform. So I'm going to do that. It is still cold outside, but I feel like I'm a little sweaty just from having the scarf on, so I'm going to take some layers off. Hey guys, so it is after school and I'm getting out of here. It's 3.35. I want to go to the gym. I'm hoping my husband and my son will meet me there so I don't have to go all the way home because I do have my gym bag with me. And then we are going to go to Kohl's and go Christmas shopping because we have Kohl's cash and they expire today. So we wanted to make sure that we got to utilize that and get Cash's big Christmas gifts from there because there's a couple toys there that he was really interested in when we went, when we went a few weeks ago. We were just kind of like hanging out in there and got him some clothes, but they have lots of toys in there too. So anyway, um, I'll see you guys tomorrow on Wednesday. Good morning, everyone. Happy Wednesday. I'm Happy that it's Wednesday because it's hump day and it's also an early release day and um, yeah just Wednesday so um, I just got to school and I am kind of getting my drawers situated for next week so I'm just putting all of the items that we're doing each day in the drawer that it goes in so Monday Tuesday. And Wednesday. And then since today's Wednesday and I still have things in there for Friday and Thursday, I'm just gonna dump the extras for Thursday and Friday in the next week drawer next week I am all prepped and ready for next week. So I think I'm gonna start planning and prepping for the week after next week. Also, I wanted to show you guys the cute writing assignment I'm gonna do next week to have it ready before Christmas break. So we're gonna do how-to writing, procedural writing, and we're gonna do the creative classrooms how to decorate a Christmas tree so majority of, me, majority of my students will be doing this next week. 
And then I do have a couple of students that do not celebrate Christmas due to religious beliefs. So they will be doing how to build a snowman. Um, and I thought that that would be really fun. And it's also a cute little craft. So I can put them in the window and then they'll be there for like, well, if they finish by next week, then they will be in the window for about a week and then they can take them home. So I'm gonna go and make copies of these and I think I need to, instead of having the kids color the Christmas trees, I think I have enough green paper to print those on green. Yes, I think I do. I have a ton of green construction paper so I'm gonna see if I can print on construction paper and if I can, I will. If not, cardstock it is. Hello everyone, so it is the end of the day and I got a little treat because we had a birthday in our class today. That's one of the perks of teaching is the cupcakes. Oh, go noodle. Um, so I have a staff, oh. So we have a staff meeting slash PLC meeting this afternoon. So I'm just collecting all the things that I need for that and I'm gonna get on out of here. And then um, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, it's Thursday. I haven't vlogged yet, but it's lunchtime. So our elf showed up late today, but to apologize, she left us some ice cold peppermint kisses straight from the North Pole. So sweet of her. <sighs> what are you having? The soup? Mm -hmm. It oh, sounded yeah. good. Is it tasty? Oh yeah. I thought about getting it because I'll have a salad. Mm -hmm. But I was like, no. It's... I just brought one of these chopped salads. Hey guys, sorry, I have not uh, vlogged very much today. I failed. Uh, it was a really busy day, it was a rainy day, so you can imagine how that went. Our elf did not show up until after specials, which we weren't really sure what was going on because I, I came in and I could not find her. And then um, after specials, during specials, I was up in the office um, doing some copying, and when we all came back in the room, she was there, but she had brought candy. She brought peppermint uh, kisses from the North Pole, and you guys, the craziest part was they were still cold. So that was really exciting. The kids really loved it. Uh, what else? I'm going to pick up cash from the babysitter, and not this week, not next week, but the next week, the week of the 20th, the week before Christmas break, is Cash's last week at the babysitters. After this week, or after that week, he'll start preschool on January 10th will be his first day. So that is super exciting and I think I might call in for the morning off and see if I can get someone to cover my class in the morning so that I can take him and drop him off at school for his first day. So I'm gonna ask my principal if that's okay. And I'm sure he'll be fine with it because he's a dad and he's always been so supportive of his uh, teacher parents. So I'm gonna ask. Anyway, Scott is at work tonight so Cash and I are just gonna hang out and play and chill. Maybe we'll watch a Christmas movie and um, yeah, it'll be fun. So Cash and I are now home and we are gonna make some dinner. I'm making Cash some organic Annie's mac and cheese. Oh, is he coming? Hi! Cash, are you sharing your grim cracker with Jack? <laughs> so I'm making him some organic mac and cheese and then we'll probably make him a couple of, oh, he's feeding it to the dog. Uh, we'll probably make him a couple of the organic, well, they're not organic, the dino chicken nuggets, those are so good. They're delicious. We tried the Earth's Best chicken nuggets and they just get so dry and gross, we don't like them at all. And when I say we, I mean we, like, we eat those chicken nuggets too. Jack, no. Hey, Jack. Say no. We're trying to teach Cash to say no when the dogs try to get his food but he's not catching on to that. I am uploading my princess party vlog from 
the other day. Are you coming? Um, I just edited it. I just edited my princess vlog from last weekend and I am trying to render it into a file so that I can upload it on YouTube, but last night it failed. So it looks like maybe my computer is just too full of stuff and it's just not going to allow me to do that. So we're making dinner, we're uploading vlogs, we're listening to Christmas music, although you can't hear it right now because copyright issues. Boogie, do you want another graham cracker? <laughs> He loves these, um, they're the Simple Life Organic Graham Crackers. I try to feed him everything organic that I can, you know, just for good practices. Cash, say hi, Mama. Say hi, Mama. Yes, hi, Mama. That's a good graham cracker, huh? <laughs> Hey guys, so it is eight o'clock and it's still Thursday. Um, I just got a bunch of chores done. I packed up the car full of our stuff because Cash and I are going to Prescott this weekend. We're going to enjoy a Christmas event that they hold every year called Acker Night where they have like musicians and it's really fun. Anyway, so Cash and I are going to Prescott tomorrow. So I just packed up the car. All I have left to do is pack my bag, which I'm waiting for some laundry to be done. And then, um, I'm going to edit this vlog. So I'm gonna end this vlog here. I'm probably going to enter a clip right here of my elf and what she's up to tomorrow on Friday. And then that will be the end of the vlog. So thank you guys so, so much for watching this week. I hope you enjoyed. If you haven't already, I'm posting a video of me doing a princess party. I'm actually posting it. It's gonna be up Friday, like, tomorrow of right now, Friday. Um, so it's already posted when you're seeing this video. So go and give that a look, see. It's just kind of like a uh, follow me around uh, princess parties kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this week's vlog and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.